Lions Den powered by KCB Bank. Next in the den are two young entrepreneurs from Nakuru with a product that targets hygiene in public restrooms. Hello Lions. My name is Amos. I am Joy. We are here as Integro 3 Company Limited. We are asking for 250,000 for 10% of our equity. Lions, I'm pretty sure you can all relate to the times when you have been in town, stuck in traffic or some place in town, and you really have to use the bathroom. But at the back of your mind, you have the idea of how a public toilet is going to be. Worst case scenario, in town with your kids. They are tugging at the hands of your skirt. Mom, I need to go to the loo. At the back of your head, you still have the picture of the jam-ridden surface that your kid has to sit on. This is an example of every other time when a public bathroom is not only a necessity, but simply a case of having only that one choice. You, when you get in there, you have to do your one minute scan. And at this point, that is where we introduce our toilet, our toilet seat covers. These are three ply toilet seat covers, giving you not one, not two, but three antibacterial layers of protection. They are also 42% thicker than any other you can get. This means they're also biodegradable. You can flush them right down the toilet after you're done. So Lions, we ask you to believe in our vision. Make this everyday task that much more friendlier to the millions of people out there. Where is this product made? The product is made in China. Have you registered this trademark? We've not registered the trademark yet, but we have authority to use the product as it is from the Toyota company. Okay, but what stops anybody picking this product up tomorrow? Uh, for this particular brand, we are the only people licensed to use it in Kenya. Have you started selling? Yep. Not yet. <laughs> we are not actually selling commercially, we are actually starting up. A business in its infancy that distributes an imported product. Will this put the lions off? How much does it go for? Retail price, that is going for 300. What sale price, we're giving it at 250. And what's your target market? Our target market is... Don't say anybody that goes to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our target market is those high-end markets. Because we believe that uh, the high-end people are in a position to get that product without an issue. And how much do you buy it for? That all costs included, we are getting it at 190. So Amos and Joy, yeah. you sound like a, a pop duo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with yourselves? What are your full-time occupational capacity? I'm a banker by profession. I am a content writer for an e-commerce. Do you have any experience in selling, distribution, marketing? Or is this your first shot at doing business? No, that is actually where we are underhanded. We have not done sales. We have done, not done marketing. But we believe we have a product that we can actually put out there. Despite their lack of experience, the honest entrepreneurs confidently answer our lion's questions. Can they convince them to part with their cash? What other products like this exist in the market and do you have any projections at all? We don't have individuals selling such a product. We have a company selling similar products but not on a personal basis. So, um, hi, Amos and Joy. I really, really like the product. I mean, I've been buying similar products when I travel. I have girls, you know, unlike boys who can afford to just stand, uh, girls, especially little ones, are going to want to sit. This actually could serve both purposes. You could sit on it and then use it to wipe as well if there's no toilet paper. So I really like it. I'll tell you where you lost me, because I was so excited when I saw it. And then, and then I looked at the packet and it's made in China. And I was like, can't this be a local brand? I'm really about promoting and supporting and trying to build local brands that are made in Kenya or in the region. So I will end up being your client, but I'm not gonna be able to help you build the business. By importing the product rather than manufacturing it locally, our entrepreneurs lose their first lion. What will paper tissue expert Darshan Chandaria say? As one day has said, you know, I mean, there's potentially a lot of value creation in uh, also making it locally. 
I'm just trying to understand what is unique about your business and how do you value it at 2.5 million shillings? This product, if you look at it, you'll not get this quality of a product. What do you want the money for? What do you want the 250,000 for? The biggest share of that cash, we'll use it in making the brand known, in making ourselves known. And what channels do you intend to use to sell this product? Good Life Chemists. We all know Good Life Chemists. We are the final stages of signing a deal with them to have these on their shelves. Okay, so I like your product and I'll make you an offer. I'll give you the 250 that you're asking for, for 35% of your business. Mike, you've been silent. What's your take on this? For me, I, I never want to fear competition. If there's 10 brands, it doesn't matter. So don't ever be discouraged by saying there's other brands. So I think it's a good product. What you need is good support, good marketing, good leverage, and a good distribution channel. But I don't think I'm the right line for this. Yeah, so I'm out. OK, thanks. I'm also not scared of competition in the market. I'll offer you 300 for 30, 30%. That's a good offer. I think you'll need more money, and three is my lucky number, so that's just. Dashan. Dashan, make an offer. I have, jump everything, out. I have everything you need. My concern is do you have everything I need? Who's going to run it? Our third director is working full time. Who is he? She's within, within this place. So, can we see the lady that's going to run this? With a twist, our entrepreneurs bring in their third director into the den. Can she convince Darshan to make an offer? How are you, Lion? Welcome. Thank you. There's five in a pack, right? And the, and the RRP will be 300 shillings, right? So that's 60 shillings for one. I think you're cutting out a lot of the market also. We want to hear from you. What do you feel about that? We're hoping that as, as we progress, definitely, maybe as we continue to bring in more products, then we pro we're hoping that we'll be able to cut down on our prices and then we'll be able to cut a larger market with time. I'm really trying to talk to myself, convince myself, <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm just not seeing the value addition. So. On that basis, I'm out. I'm happy for my fellow Lions to proceed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. are doing 250, is doing 300. Are you willing to do a figure that we can agree, then you split half-half? Like, if she pushes to 300, then you do 150, 150, and then we split the, the equity. It really depends on what you want and whether she's willing. Are you willing to? Yeah, sure, no problem. 150, 150, we come in at 30%. Okay. We have a deal. At some point, we really saw it going the other way. But I believe God was here. I think Darshan can do this product and sell it for less than 100 shillings. It's a big market. Yeah. If you do your product and you get it out there, it will help to sell this product. That was the lion that we were cautious to, to see how he moves, but the fact that he decided to keep it cool, it was a plus for us. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.